everyone and welcome to Bible Story Interviews. I'm Miss Kura and I will be taking you guys on an adventure today. But first, let's meet my students. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm seven years old. My favorite color is purple and I play soccer. I'm Jeremy. I love to read and play Fortnite. I also love dogs. And oh, I am nine. Hi friends, I'm Maggie. I'm ten. I like going on adventures and learning about the Bible. What's up, dogs and doggeritos? I'm Damien. I like worship, playing football, and helping people. I'm eight years old, and I can't wait to talk about Bible stories with you guys. Now that we have met everyone, let me tell you a little bit about the show. Together, we will talk about some great Bible stories. Then we will travel back in time and speak to some people or animals that were a part of that story. Finally, we will learn our ponder point for the day, which is the main idea. Miss Kara, what are we learning about today? Today, we are going to be talking about Daniel and the lion's den. Does anybody know that story? Is that the one with the mouse and the lion? No, that's the lion and the mouse. Daniel and the lion's den is a completely different story. In Old Testament times, there was a king named Darius and a wise man named Daniel. Through acts of God, Daniel became great friends with the king. So the king planned to put Daniel in charge of the whole kingdom. The king's workers did not like this plan. And they tried to find reasons to get Daniel in trouble with the king. But they could find nothing wrong. So, the workers knew that the only way Daniel could get in trouble was his devotion to God. They then hatched a plan to get rid of Daniel. A few of these workers went to the king and they said, we have made a vote and we think that for the next 30 days, all of the people in the kingdom should worship the king only. And anyone who disobeys this law should be thrown into the lion's den. Did the king listen to the workers? Unfortunately, yes. The king agreed, not knowing the evil things the workers had planned. Oh no! Then what happened? Daniel was still faithful to God and spent three times a day praying and asking God for help. The workers ambushed Daniel's home and brought news to the king that Daniel had broken the law. The king became very sad because he could not change his friend's fate. King Darius spent all day trying to find out a way to save Daniel, but he could find nothing. So Darius spoke with Daniel and said that he prayed God would protect him. Daniel was then thrown into the lion's den to be eaten, and the top of the den was covered with a giant boulder. Daniel spent all night in the den. Did he get eaten? Hold on, we'll get there. The king appeared as soon as the sun came up and he yelled into the cave to see if Daniel was all right. And he was. When the king asked Daniel what had happened, Daniel said that when the lions went to eat him, their mouths were closed by an angel of the Lord. See, God saved Daniel that night, all night long, because Daniel was faithful to God. Cool! <laughs> Kids, that's what that sound means. That sound means it's time to go see and interview one of our special guests. Let's hop in our time machine and let's go visit them. Where are we? 
What is this pit? Children, we are at the lion's den. And I think our special guest is with us. Don't worry, he's not coming out of the den. But let's say hello to Randall the lion. Hello, kids. Randall, can you please tell us a little bit about the night that Daniel spent a night in this very den? Well, you see, I was in there with my crew, and we were mad hungry. A dude was thrown in, we were all ready to eat him, and all of a sudden, our mouths couldn't open. The angel of the Lord had closed them. I was like, whoa, uh, man, I'm hungry. But our mouths stayed closed until the morning when the dude had left the den. But we sure had a great meal the next That's day. That's crazy. God can really do some amazing things. I would be so scared. Well, today, fear is what we're going to be talking about. Let's go back to our time to discuss it. <laughs> today, we are learning about fear. Let's learn our Bible verse for this week. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. Daniel 6, 27. When we read this verse, we can think about how God saved Daniel and know that we don't have to be afraid. Daniel was probably in one of the scariest moments of his entire life, but the king and Daniel put faith in God that he would protect him. And he did. We live in a world that is so filled with fear right now. And we may spend a night in the dark, afraid, but God is always in the midst protecting us until we are lifted out of the dead. So when I'm afraid of going in my basement, God's there protecting me? Yes, he is. What about when my mom was sick? God was there with you and with her, protecting her until she got better. When we are afraid of being stuck at home during shelter in place, when there is a bully at school, or when we can't sleep at night, God is there. And that brings us to our very first ponder point. Do not fear because God is in control. Think about that this week. Do not fear because God is in control. In what ways can we show trusting God right now? Praying? Right? Having patience? Worship? Those are all perfect ideas of putting trust in God with everything going on right now. Remember this week, kids. Do not fear because God is in control. Let's pray before we go. God, thank you for protecting us. Thank you for loving us. Please help us trust in you when we may not understand. Keep us all safe in the midst of shelter in place and the fear that surrounds us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, kids, that was our show for the week. This was Bible Story Interviews, and we'll see you next time. Bye! <sighs> <laughs> hey, I'm Damien. Uh, I don't know my lines yet. Did the kings list no? Hey, Damien here. Ah, uh, I almost said I'm ten. That's not. Oh no! Then what happened? Okay. Hey guys, it's Damien here. 